In this video, we will learn a graphical tool of analyzing a project for its justification. In other words, we will learn to make a graph that will help us to decide if we should undertake a project or not. As the title goes, that it is about the comparison of the project in its presence and in its absence. So let's see what do we have in this technique as we know that the project analysis attempts to identify and value the benefits and the costs that will arise with the project to compare them with the situations as it would be without the project so in other words what we are trying to do is that we are trying to quantify identify the benefits and the costs in the situation where there is a project and where there is no project so that we could justify if we undertake the project and it will be compared with the situation in which we avoid undertaking the project and then the comparison will enable us to decide if we should actually undertake the project or not so in other words what we are trying to say uh, we are talking about the difference of benefits and costs just like b minus c in arithmetical terms and it is in case of the presence of the proposed project and the difference of the benefits and the costs is also taken in case of the absence of the project so the comparison can either be in this way that is greater or it can show the two values to be equal or it can show that the first value is com comparatively greater than the second one so lesser equal and greater are the three possibilities in the comparison of these two differences that is b minus c one of which is in the possibility of undertaking the project and the other one is when we avoid undertaking the project now instead of writing b minus c we can write nb which is actually representing the net benefits it is net benefits because benefits they are coming before the costs and uh, whatever will be left will be left out of the benefits once we subtract the costs out of them now there is another relevant term here that we can create and that is by creating the difference while writing costs before the benefits and in this case the result would be suitably called as net costs because whatever is left out of the costs will be there when we subtract the benefits from it but usually we talk about the net benefits because we are desiring for a situation where the benefits are greater than the costs so we are eyeing that situation where we have a beneficial project so we write net benefits usually and uh, net costs they can also be used where the purpose is to minimize the cost where the focus is on the costs instead of the benefits so net benefits is the symbol that we use here instead of b minus c now there is another detail in the net benefits and that is when we take the difference of the two net benefits that is called as incremental net benefits because it is showing the additional net benefits while comparing with project possibility and without project possibility as you can see if we write net benefits of with project and we subtract the net benefits without the project we will get this difference which will be called as incremental net benefits definitely it is the increment of the with project net benefits over the without project net benefits definitely the answer can be either greater than zero equal to zero or less than zero because it is a difference and the answer of a difference can be either equal to zero or greater or lesser than zero so these are the three possibilities that we have 
and uh, on the basis of these three possibilities we can decide if we should undertake the project or not. So if it is greater than zero it means that it is desirable to undertake the project because with project the net benefits are greater than the net without project net benefits and if it is less than zero then definitely it is not desirable to undertake the project because this situation is actually representing that the net benefits without the project are greater than the net benefits with the project and if the incremental net benefits are equal to zero it means that we are indifferent because we can either go for the project or we can avoid the project so it is the case of either either of the two possibilities will be undertaken because uh, there is no difference between the two so we can include other factors other concerns and on the basis of that we can decide if we should undertake the project or not now let us take an example it is an example taken from FAO that is food and agriculture organization it is about the cattle disease because uh, cattle can catch some disease and definitely their population can decrease if it is a fatal disease and it has a certain biological name in the nomenclature of biology it is so after understanding the background of this intervention now we have used this word intervention here because it is an intervention in the form of a project where we are introducing some disease control or some treatment which will counter this uh, cattle disease so there can be more than one possibilities and four of them are considered um, they are in their separate panels this is the first panel and then there is B panel and there is C panel and there is four panel we will magnify all of these one by one but right now we need to understand the legend in it because uh, we need to uh, be sure of how uh, these uh, symbols are representing which one of the phenomena so if we talk about the first one that is this peach color um, region it is showing the potential benefits due to disease control so this is a favorable area in simple words because this will show the increase in population or the loss of uh, avoiding the loss of death of uh, cattle uh, which is in other words benefits for the uh, farm owner or for this project so we wish that we have this peach area in a greater volume secondly this solid line shows the cattle population in the absence of the disease control so the solid line will show us the level of population when we have not uh, done any treatment or disease control uh, similarly there is another line which is now dotted line and this dotted line will again show the cattle population but it will be the population level if we do the treatment or we uh, undertake the disease control so this will be in case of with project and this will be without project so t is equal to 0 is another value that we will see it means that it is the beginning of the disease control that is the uh, that point in time where the treatment is started and this triple c is showing this phrase which is carrying capacity ceiling it will show a certain level of population which can be carried in in a certain farm where these cattle are being taken care of 
So after understanding these uh, components of the legend in these graphs, acknowledging the reference that is Food and Agriculture Organization, we go to the details of each of these graphs. So let's talk about the first panel. So in the first panel, we can see both of the lines. As we remember, this solid line is actually showing the level of population if there is no intervention. So I can call it with out project curve and this will be with project curve where we are undertaking the disease control. So this is a straight line without project. It means that this straight line actually shows that the population without any disease control project, it remains the same. As you can see, it is uh, fixed at certain level here, that certain fixed level is visible. So if the population is remaining the same, it means that the death rate due to disease is equal to the reproduction rate or birth rate in the herd of the cattle. If they are cancelling each other out, the level of population will remain the same over time. So this is one of the underlying possibilities due to which the population without the project is remaining constant whereas the population with project is increasing as you can see this dotted line is above the uh, without project line and there is um, a steady increase in the population as compared to the without project possibility and the differential of the two is uh, shaded in the peach color which already is explained which uh, actually is showing the benefit of this project because it is the incremental net benefit and it is desirable to undertake this project because we will be getting the incremental net, and net benefits equal to this area. So this is the situation 1 and the description here is given which you can read. Now let's talk about the next possibility which is panel B and in panel B there is a slight difference. We can again agree that this is the population line which shows the absence of the project that is without project and this is the with project population line and uh, in this case the without project population line is falling. It means that the death rate here is greater as compared to the birth rate. This can be possible in, in a situation where the disease is uh, uh, you know uh, more fatal as compared to the previous possibility where the death rate was equal to the birth rate and the let us just note this there was death rate due to disease and that was equal to the birth rate due to which we had this straight line but in this case seems as if that death rate is greater than the birth rate. So this can be an underlying reason however we are more concerned about the comparison of the two possibilities that if we undertake the project definitely there is an increase in the population as we have overcome the death rate caused by the disease. So the incremental net benefits they are substantially greater as compared to the previous um, situation. So we can easily compare them and in panel B in this situation it is very much desirable to undertake the project because it is giving us a greater peach area which shows um, net benefits in an incremental way. So now let us talk about the third possibility. The third possibility is taking place in panel C 
and in this case uh, we can already see that death rate is expected to be less than the birth rate due to which the without project population curve is on the rise it is increasing and definitely if we undertake the disease control project the population will further increase which is shown by the dotted line and the difference of the two is the incremental net benefit which is not as much as in the last case or even in the previous case that is panel A but still it is a positive region it shows that we have saved some lives of the cattle this is incremental net benefit area and it means that we are uh, successful in uh, benefiting our project by undertaking this um, disease control project now finally we can talk about the fourth case which is an interesting case and in this case you can see that um, there is another thing that was not there before and it is triple C which is the carrying capacity ceiling because uh, if you are talking about a certain farm in this case a farm can contain a certain number of cattle not beyond that so if that level of population is achieved further population cannot be contained in that certain farm this is that concept which is going to change the whole situation in in this case which is case B so um, let us see the with pop without population curve it is again a solid line and it is increasing and it shows that already we are having a good situation here and that situation is that death rate is smaller than the birth rate but when we undertake the project uh, we will have this um, dotted line that is with project that is the disease control we will have a rise of the net benefits which is um, you know visible the difference is uh, also there with the peach shade that shows the incremental net benefits but here as you can see this dotted red line the with project curve becomes horizontal it means that there is no further increase in the cattle population this definitely is understood because we understand the concept of capacity or carrying capacity ceiling beyond this level there cannot be further cattle population that can be carried or sustained on that certain farm so till this point we have managed to have a certain level of incremental net benefits and even beyond that we are still getting some incremental net benefits so all of these incremental net benefits they are of, of some value for us and uh, we can still say that it is a desirable situation because we are still able to manage a certain peach area and that peach area is showing the incremental net benefits this solid line this solid red line is showing that point where both of them are having the same level of population definitely the uh, solid line is meeting the dotted line here and at this point uh, both of them are now having the same level of cattle population so in this situation again the project is looking like to be a favorable thing for the cattle farm and uh, it is desirable to undertake the project however the relative importance is visible because in the first case there were substantial incremental net benefits and then there were even greater incremental net benefits and then there were a little lesser incremental net benefits and then there were even lesser but in all of the cases the incremental net benefits they were positive 